Testing, testing, one, two, three. Claire's in the house today. <laughs> Hooray, I'm here. Hello, everyone. My name is Claire, and I just wanted to say hello and welcome to my channel. Yay, I did it, guys. Yeah, so for those who don't know who I am, my name is Claire. Um, I, oh, I'm getting stage fright. <laughs> Okay, a little bit about me. I'm turning 29. No, I am 29. I'm turning 30 in July. How scary is that? <sighs> I'm still so very young. Um, I have two dogs. I work as a graphic designer full time. I've been working as a graphic designer for about six years now, I think. Yeah, six years. Yeah, I just really love art, design, anything that catches the eye, really. You catch my eye. <laughs> oh, that was so lame. Anyways, I started my um, Instagram account uh, 26th of April, 2022. So I started that account more to bring awareness to mental health. But I think after about five posts, I kind of gave up on it. I gave up on it. Oh, I think it was because I just, I didn't have a strategy. So the start of 2023, I was a was thinking about creating like going back on it and actually putting more effort into it i created content um in my own time like you know art pictures <laughs> i created some stuff in order to post consistently i created it in batches and so i told myself i'm going to post all this in june july that's when i'll open up my instagram account to get under claire no oh, under c jean dot studio but then you know january passed i was like by the end of january i was like no i really want to open up this account now i really want to start posting now because i you know i kept scrolling and i kept seeing all these wonderful people on instagram sharing their stuff and i was just itching to share my stuff and so i did i was like i've had enough i'm gonna post um and I'll just figure it out along the way. So I, uh, February 6th was when I did my first post under cgene.studio. And yeah, it was really good. Um, I got a lot of positive feedback. I'm very thankful for you all. I started taking it seriously. So I had a crazy posting schedule to me. I guess other people are crazier. But to me... I thought my schedule was crazy and I'm just starting out. So I would wake up at around 5 to 5.30 a.m. And I would work on my, you know, my posts, my drawings, what I'm going to write. Oh, that's hard. Hashtags. Oh, hashtags were the hardest. I would wake up so early just so that I can post twice. Oh, no. My light turned off. Okay. I would post twice a day, one carousel post, which is like multiple pictures, and one reel per day. And I let it consume my life. I wasn't hanging out with anyone. I wasn't seeing my family. I was barely making time for my partner. And I wasn't giving that much attention to my dogs. And so I thought, okay, um, just keep just keep doing this um, until you know you get better I guess until you understand what you're doing until it gets easier and I think along the way it just it was good at the beginning but it was really consuming my life and I think my mental health was declining a little bit I was going crazy <laughs> I knew that it wasn't sustainable in the long run so I started you know pivoting i started adjusting my schedule to one post a day instead of two and so i'm doing that and you know as as you go along your journey you're gonna make mistakes um some days are hard some days are easy some days are good some days are bad and i was posting once a day but i wasn't waking up at 5 a.m anymore i thought nah I can't do this. I'm not like 
I'm not much of a morning person, but when I open my eyes, I'm like, go. Um, so yeah, I ended up, you know, pushing back my alarms. I started waking up at 6 a.m. just to do a bit of art before work. And then I think eventually, as I got more comfortable with Instagram, I started posting every other day. I think along the way, I started to learn more and more about myself, more and more about this journey. Um, one of the things that I realized was just start. If you really want to do it, um, just start. Just dive in, just start, and you can adjust along the way. But when I first started posting um, seriously, so I started posting seriously on the 6th of Feb, and it's now the 6th of May. So yay, happy three months. <laughs> um, but when I started posting, I had um, some pictures lined up, right? So I already had some illustrations lined up. But then after a while, I started obviously, what's it called? I started to run out of content. And so I was trying to make art every single day, trying to make reels every single day. And it was taxing on me. But I pushed through, I guess. I don't know where I'm going with this. But yes, you figure out a routine that works for you and just start. If you want to do something, if you want to, you know, start your own business, if you want to learn how to draw, if you want to make a cake, um, I believe in you. I 100% I believe in you. And yeah, the other thing that I learned um, throughout this three month journey, numbers aren't everything. Yeah. I still get caught up in the numbers game. I mean, like, obviously, you want to grow and there's a certain, I don't know, status when you see someone have, like, 10K um, and you're like, wow, one day, one day. But I think when it comes to numbers, your numbers will always fluctuate. And I think that if people unfollow you, then you really don't need that follower in your life as long as you are you people will love you and people will follow you and if they don't want to follow you that's okay them unfollowing you leaves more room for the people who do want to follow you you know before i would always get sad when the numbers go down but as long as you're consistent and true to yourself i think people will follow you naturally what have i learned <laughs> For the three months oh the other thing yes um if you want to grow what i learned was to have genuine interactions with other people i noticed that when i did a particular challenge um there was this girl or boy or other there was this person commenting on my stuff the same thing every single time this person would comment cute wow amazing which is nice it's really nice and heartwarming but then when i started to look at other people's challenge posts i realized that um this person would post the same thing and even when i started talking about you know heavier topics on my posts when i would open up and share it on my post you know it still get the same like wow amazing sort of thing um so i think you can go a long way when you genuinely comment on other people's posts and yeah it just feels nice you know when someone takes their time just to write a message for you um and i think that's how i'm learning to build mine um what else yeah, I have a lot of plans. Oh, my dogs. I have a lot of plans for this channel. Um, one of my goals was to um, make a YouTube channel and, and post a video by the end of this week. And it's Saturday and I have until Sunday next week. So I have seven days. So I think I'm doing pretty well. And I just wanted to say thank you. And I'll post a lot more art content i guess um but yeah you want to see my um what's it called my schedule okay <laughs> 
it's a pretty intense schedule that I made for myself. So with this schedule, I wanted to, you know, create some posts, do more reels. Because I've kind of dropped the ball in that one. I want to consistently do TikTok. Um, I did post one TikTok video already. But for some reason, TikTok scares me. Yes, it does scare me. Um, I think it's because I'm not too familiar with that platform. And therefore, I'm scared. But like with everything, we have to try. If we don't try, we will never know. So yeah, that's my goal for this week. To try more on TikTok. Um, I'm gonna try and tweet every day. Just the thoughts in my head. What I have planned. So I want to do digital content, stickers, pins. I want to do hoodie. So my mic got disconnected. Ooh. Um, where was I? I want to do hoodies, shirts, freebies, um, packaging. Um. Yeah, I just want to do more and so this is all the stuff that that um, is due for myself. Yes, I made a very stressful calendar um, but I'm very um, I'm very excited and this these these little love parts that's been scratched off there they're the ones that I bit I'm going to volunteer this month um, 14 and 21. So 14 is the Mother's Day classic run for breast cancer and this one is for the MS um, walk. So if you're in Canberra, volunteer with me, yay! Um, but yes, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I guess what I really want for this YouTube channel is, I don't know, I just wanted to create one and spread positivity and love and happiness and I just wanted to hang out with you guys and yeah that's all I hope you have a good day stay safe and bye oh yeah and subscribe please thank you thank you